हेलो यस मैम जस्ट वेट फॉर फाइव मिनट्स मैम ओके ओके I just waiting for the symbol, ma'am. Symbol, ma'am, are you in? Okay. Uh, can you, you can please check that the whether you'll be able to uh, do it? Uh, whether I can share. Ah, huh, yes, ma'am. Please check like that. I'm making your presenter. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, they are telling you cannot show. You are now the presenter. Okay. okay. Let me see whether I can do it. I think you can. Uh, can you see, ma'am? Can you see? Is it you're visible? Not, you're not started, ma'am. Is it visible? No. 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 Sorry. Let me see. Wait, that you check it by that time. Let the participants to join. Okay. 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 Symbol, ma'am. Symbol, ma'am. She's not answering. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. So you are there, eh, na? So just check that what is the problems facing by the ma'am. The ma'am ma to present the her screen is not visible. The is moment it visible it now? No, no, no ma'am. No. 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 <clears throat> Just. Uh... Can I make you co-host? Uh, co then you can. Let me see. No, Sir, no, Veera, uh, yes, ma'am. Veera, co-host. Every... Can they share? Can they share? Can they share? Let me see. Ka. Let me see. This uh, always, always ah, I do ah, it. Ah. And... No. Ah, this is open. What is it, ma'am? Now, ma'am, come back. Yes, ma'am. Now, yes, ma'am. Open. Yes. Now it's no. okay, ma'am. Now it's okay, na? Yeah. Okay. okay. Just oh. uh, two, three minutes. I'm just waiting, ma'am. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So four thirty is not. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, ma'am.
Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon to all the Good members. afternoon. I'm and so happy, happy to see you. Happy New Year to all of you. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. It's a great pleasure for the, on behalf of the Arivata Sahodev School Complex. I welcome you to this wonderful training session. And indeed, all the members, we have a wonderful principal, principal of Foundation Academy IIT Beta. And as a, you can say, the very, very fine, refined person and humble, docile, and very intelligent, very innovative. RP is with us. Rema, ma'am, take us to today's multiple intelligence of Gardner's theory. I hope we will rewind it so we have learned, but we are all of us will forget about that, how we can implement. Frequently, we required that the that's revise the point so that we can able to do it time to time and new, many new teachers also joined in many, many schools. It will be, it is very good and we should know that how we can utilize this, all the areas of the child and we can take the best from the child. Before starting, I welcome all the participants and wish you all very happy new year. And I thanks to some symbol ma'am with me who has helped us to allow the participants to end the uh, program and the training coordinator, Mr. Himanshu Pandey also. Thank you very much. Before starting it, I request each one of you that participants kindly make your video mute off because it may distract the presenter. So it's better to off. Let's listen and don't ask for the train uh, quest link or attendance link on exactly that 530. 430 is the uh, uh, training starting 530, five minutes before the 530, we will place it. And you need to write all the entries in capital letters and you have to submit that your name should be written in capital letters. So before that, please keep in school uh, code as well as affiliation number in your hand. These are the two things you have to keep in mind and try to make your name as along with the school code. Then it will be easy for us to understand that the if any queries comes up, we can check that the which uh, teacher from which school has joined. I thank to our founder chairman, Dr. C.B. Singh, sir, our secretary, Edward Alphonse, sir, and the pre all uh, president and training coordinator, Apart from this training, he is a treasurer of the Arivarta Sahodaya, Mr. Himanshu Pandey, and assistant symbol, ma'am, also. Now, thank you very much, sir. Oh, uh, thank you very much, ma'am. Once again, on behalf of the entire participants, I welcome you to this training. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Radhika, ma'am. I am more humbled by your description. Uh, it's a privilege also for me because whenever imparting training, we have to go through the entire concept once again. So that actually freshens up the ideas and the knowledge in our mind. And so in uh, that way, we are also privileged. Whenever we are giving training, we are not only uh, imparting it, but we are learning it more intensely. So thank you, Aryavat Savadaya. Thank you, CB, uh, CB Singh, sir. Thank you, Radhika, ma'am, Simple, ma'am and Himanshu Pandey, sir, uh, for giving me the privilege of uh, uh, getting the chair of the resource person for one hour. And it, this is a wonderful topic, multiple intelligence. No. So uh, till now, there are uh, some of our teachers who think that if a person cannot do his maths very well, or if a person is not very good in science, that child or that person is not actually uh, intelligent. Hum log bolte hai na, ki uska beta IIT unko mil gaya, matlab wo kitna intelligent hai. Lekin jiski beti Bharatnatyam bohat achcha se naachte hai, wo shayad utna intelligent nahi hai. Hum log aise hi judge karte hai. But that judgment is not good. So as teachers, as teachers, as the shapers of our future generation, we all have to be dreamers. And what is our dream? I try to depict them through some lines that's there on my first screen. 
The dream means here D for don't judge anyone by race or color or creed. Each of us is unique. So accept and value and make this earth worth living. Not only accepting different types of uniqueness, different types of potentiality, but we have to give them proper value. Anna? Let us start our discussion with a story. Ye bola jata hai ki ye story jo hai, ye shayad Albert Einstein bole the. So what is it telling? That everybody is special, everybody is unique. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. But matlab, animals ka school hai. हम लोग जैसे होते हैं क्लास 1 के बच्चे एक साथ बैठते हैं क्लास 2 के बच्चे एक साथ बैठते हैं वी हैव डिफरेंट करिकुलम डिफरेंट सिलेबस डिफरेंट टॉपिक फॉर ईच ऑफ आवर क्लासेस एंड देन एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन और इन बिटवीन आल्सो वी हैव आवर स्टैंडर्डाइज्ड टेस्ट बट मे बी दैट स्टैंडर्डाइज्ड टेस्ट इज नॉट सो फिट फॉर ईच वन ऑफ देम so you can see here this animal school and the teacher is there and the teacher is telling that for a fair selection everybody has to take the same examination and what is the examination please climb that tree so bandar kitna acha se tree mein chadega kya machli aise tree mein chad payega so if we give them the same taste or if we judge them similarly by a so called within inverted comma standardized taste the tree we, the, the 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 fish will believe that it is stupid but it may not be so so we have to keep our conscience and our mind broad and free where we will value every child every student uh, with its own unique potentiality here on the screen, you can see some great stalwarts in their own field. Ravindranath Tagore, Albert Einstein, Vashish Narayan Singh, Beethoven, Sudha Chandran. But if you try to compare the idea of comparing Einstein with Beethoven or Vashish Narayan Singh with Ravindranath Tagore, or Lata Mangeshkar with Sudha Chandran, it cannot be wise because you cannot compare to altogether different modalities of intelligence. Someone is very intelligent with music, someone is very intelligent with dance, someone is superb in mathematics, someone is superb in writing. But they all are actually stalwarts in their own field. So intelligence, though we feel doing mathematics or uh, practicing science is actually a standard judgment for intelligence. But intelligence, if we take the word, it is the ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skill. It's the way we understand and analyze the world around. We perceive things. We understand what is happening around us. We gather knowledge and then we apply knowledge for new events. That all, all together can be termed as intelligence. So intelligence has been defined in many ways. The word also has been defined in many ways. The capacity for abstraction, logic, understanding, self-awareness, learning, emotional knowledge, reasoning, planning, creativity, critical thinking, problem solving, creativity, all can be described as the ability to perceive or infer information and to retain it as knowledge which will be applied to adaptive behaviors within an environment 
or context. So the term rose to prominence during the early 1900 and most psychologists believe that intelligence can be divided into various domains and competencies. Intelligence is studied in humans, but it has also been observed in both non-human animals and even in plants that they also exhibit some types of intelligence. So maybe some of these forms of life also have intelligence in some other way. So intelligence in computers, intelligence in machines is also described and discussed a lot nowadays and we call them artificial intelligence. So human intelligence is the intellectual power of humans which is marked by complex cognitive feats and high levels of motivation and self-awareness. No. Now, nowadays also, we actually judge intelligence by some standardized test, which is called the IQ test. So, many people disagree with the validity of IQ test. They state that these states cannot accurately measure intelligence. So, the Actually, uh, this idea started from 1900 to define intelligence, how, what is intelligence, what is there in its purview. So there was a debate about human intelligence based on hereditary factors or if it is based on environmental factors. Hereditary intelligence is the theory that intelligence is fixed up and but. Ab janam jat kuch intelligence kuch buddhi matta leke ab janam lete hai aur ye jo buddhi hai ye aapka heredity ke upar depend karte hai aapka uh, ba, pita mata bahut buddhi maan so aap bhi buddhi maan honge aur o jo ek g factor isko bola jata hai so that g factor will remain fixed and that is dependent on your birth and it does not grow but the other school they told that there is environmental intelligence also. It's how you nurture the intelligence of a person. An environment that cultivates intelligence is one that challenges the person's cognitive abilities. So, bohat sare jo chintabid hai, psychologist hai, educators hai, is disha mein kaam kiye. Aur kuch naam to hum log ke liye bohat parichit hai. Alfred Binet. David Wetzler and then today we are going to talk about Howard Gardner. Okay, so what did he do? He actually brought up an, a revolution, a challenge to the wildly hold idea that intelligence is a single general capacity or capability which is possessed by every individual to a greater or lesser extent. Gardner actually 1983 made a book and this theory that first came to people in front of So this book actually brought in a revolution. The world of education and psychology actually they faced a new idea that rather than a single type of intelligence, Human beings have several types of intelligence and most of which are neglected by standard testing and educational method. This IQ test is not multiple intelligence ka judgment. Nahi hota hai. So the multiple intelligence theory is a modernized practice that considers the developmental characteristics of students while acknowledging their uniqueness, their individuality, their potentiality. It is a theory that has been used throughout the world and throughout all the grade levels. This senior capstone research project examines the benefits of incorporating Howard Gardner's multiple intelligence theory into teaching practices using class observation, literature review, interviews with teacher and the results indicate that 
when incorporating the multiple intelligence theory into teaching practice educators are more engaged with their students so we have to accept and we have to value the individuality and uniqueness of every human being all are not having the same type of intelligence but it's a combination of different type of intelligences and all these intelligences they are complementary to each other aisa baat nahi hai ki kisi ke andar agar sur taal ka gyan bahut acha hai wo ganit bilkul ganit mein bilkul zero honge okay so मल्टीपल इंटेलिजेंस ये सारा जो अलग अलग टाइप का बुद्धि ये जो बहुधा बुद्धि है ये हम लोग के अंदर कम या ज्यादा सब रहता है और सब एक साथ काम करते हैं सो द प्रोसेस इन विच ह्यूमैंस लर्न एंड अंडरस्टैंड इंफॉर्मेशन इज कंस्टेंटली इवॉल्विंग वी हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी ब्रॉड एंड वी एज टीचर्स need to understand that students they are unique they have different type of potentials some are musically intelligent some are people smart some are word smart some are logic smart or mathematics smart some are nature smart some are picture smart but they all are smart human beings they are not dumb they are not idiot because they cannot cope up with mathematics or science very very efficiently so the process in which humans learn and understand information is constantly evolving our world is changing in a drastic way thus the teaching practices used in our current education system need to be modernized as educators we need to take into consideration the best way for our students to learn humans are intellectual beings who procure a core set of intelligence we learn and understand information in our own unique way kisi ko aap padhate ho aapko sun ke wo zyada sikhte hain kisi ko aap ek chart dikhate ho wo chart dekh ke zyada zyada samajh lete hain किसी को अगर हैंड्स ऑन एक्सपेरिमेंट देते हो वो करके ज्यादा सीखते हैं किसी को आप कुछ की कॉन्सेप्ट देते हो वो उसके ऊपर एक पोएम लिख लेते हैं मे बी ही इज वर्ड स्मार्ट ही स्मार्टर देन यू मे बी ओके सो एज एजुकेटर्स वी नीड टू टेक इन टू कंसिडरेशन द बेस्ट वे फॉर आर स्टूडेंट्स टू लर्न ह्यूमैंस आर इंटेलेक्चुअल बींग्स दे प्रोक्योर a core set of intelligence just now i have told so we learn and understand and analyze information in our own unique way by incorporating howard gardner's multiple intelligence theory into teaching practices we have the opportunity to provide an enhanced learning environment that highlights on students areas of strength while broadening students way of thinking over the course of several generations there has been limited outlook of human intelligence this outlook has dominated the public education system jisko hum log school system bolte hai ya college ka system university ka system iska domination hota hai by our standardized or stereotyped outlook initially during the beginning of the psychometric and behaviorist eras it was believed that intelligence was a single entity that was inherited this way of thinking is still the paradigm in most of the teachers in which students are being taught even today today multiple researchers believe that a range of intelligences exist and that each intelligence rarely work independently from one another with their own strengths and limitations as humans develop skills or solve problems these intelligences work at the same time and they are complementary to each other 
humans excel in different areas. Gardner's multiple intelligence theory can provide students with a better understanding of how they learn, how they analyze. When students are able to identify or teachers are able to identify and value the type of multiple intelligence they use to learn material, they can adapt the information to their learning. The students are not only able to have a clearer understanding of different information, but are also able to understand material even when it is being taught in an alternative way. Okay. So these are the benefits of Howard Gardner's multiple intelligence. It gives us a broader outlook. So here you can see the uh, photograph of Howard Gardner and this is his very famous book, Frames of Mind. So 1983 May Gardner Saab Pahele bolna suru kiye about this multiple intelligence. So 1983 May from the in this book, the, the Frames of Mind, he actually came out with seven different uh, modalities of intelligence. In 1998, he told about eight different modalities, which is also accepted in our NCRT system. We talk about the eight different types of intelligences. And in 2000, ultimately, he came out with nine different types of intelligences. This is a book, Howard Gardner's Frames of Mind, which talks about the theory of multiple intelligence or Bahubuddhi. Okay. So, actually, just I told that pahle ke zamana mein to hai, abhi bhi log sochte hai ki intelligence heredity se milta hai. Lekin Howard Gardner bol raha hai ki pahle to baat hai, intelligence ek hi tarah ka nahi hota hai, alag alag tarah ka hota hai. O sab rahte hai hum log ki andar, kisi mein koi ek type ka intelligence jada rahta hai, dusra type ka intelligence shayad thoda kam hota hai. और डिफरेंट इंसिडेंस में जब हम लोग एनवायरनमेंट के साथ रिएक्ट करते हैं या तो कुछ प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करते हैं ये डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस अलग-अलग तरीका से कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी टू ईच अदर होके हम लोग के काम में आते हैं लेकिन एनवायरनमेंट भी एक बहुत बड़ा फैक्टर है अ स्टूडेंट अ चाइल्ड इज बोर्न इन अ फैमिली एंड इन हिज फैमिली एवरीवन इज वेरी इंटेलिजेंट and the child is also very intelligent. But if nurturing part is absent, if the intelligence is not nurtured properly, then it will not flourish. It will not develop according to our expectation. On the other hand, agar bachya bahaan zada intelligent, matlab common way mein agar nahi bhi hai, अगर वो बहुत अच्छे से मैथ्स नहीं भी कर सकते हैं साइंस नहीं भी कर सकते हैं लेकिन उसको अगर एक नर्चरिंग एनवायरनमेंट दिया जाए उसको भरोसा दिया जाए थोड़ा बहुत गाइडेंस दिया जाए तो बिकॉज़ ऑफ द नर्चरिंग एनवायरनमेंट द सेम स्टूडेंट कैन डेवलप दैट पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस व्हिच ही और शी नीड्स टू फ्लरिश इन लाइफ सो both the parts, the hereditary part and the environment, environment part, both are equally important and not only heredity, but environ, environment also decides how our children will be developed to develop their intelligences in different nurturing way. So, the theory of multiple intelligences proposes the differentiation of human intelligence into specific modalities. Pahele kya tha? Unitary modality bola gya tha. But now we have different types of intelligence into specific modalities rather than defining intelligence as a single general ability. So it was a revolution. Human intelligence is the intellectual capability of humans which is marked by complex cognitive feats and achievements and high levels of motivation and self-awareness and high intelligence is associated with better outcomes in life. 
So I have told when we consider intelligence as a combination of different types of modalities, we become broad and we value and we nurture different types of intelligences and get the full potential to be flourished in our expected way. So these are the different, eight different types of intelligences. The first one is, is verbal linguist, linguistic intelligence. This ko aap Hindi mein bhashai buddhi bol sakti hai. So, ye kya hai? Acha, pehle to naam dek lete hai. Kya kya different types of intelligence hai? To pehle bhasha or verbal linguistic intelligence. Then mathematical and reasoning intelligence. Ganit or tark se sampar ki thai is tarah ka intelligence. Next one is spatial intelligence. Jo sthaan ke, sthaan, sthaan ke saath ya space ke saath sampar ki thai. Next is kinesthetic intelligence to ye sharir ke saath samparkit hai is tarah ka jo intelligence hai ye uh, athletic athletes mein dekha jata hai ye surgeon mein dekha jata hai ye log apne sharir ko bahut acha sa control kar sakte hai aur uske through bahut um, uh, different type ka uh, excellent kaam kar sakte hai next is musical intelligence इस तरह का इंटेलिजेंस से हम लोग सूट ताल लय इसके बारे में हम लोग का बोध या बुद्धि या अंडरस्टैंडिंग ज्यादा होते हैं ये संगीत के साथ संपर्कित है इसको बोला जाता है म्यूजिकल इंटेलिजेंस नेक्स्ट इज इंट्रा पर्सनल एंड इंटर पर्सनल इंट्रा पर्सनल व्हेन द पर्सन अंडरस्टैंड्स हिमसेल्फ और हरसेल्फ इन अ बेटर वे अपने के, मतलब खुद के बारे में जानना और उसके साथ संपर्क की जो बुद्धि अपने आप को बेटर वे में एनालाइज करना हम लोग बहुत इंटेलिजेंट हो सकते हैं लेकिन अगर खुद को नहीं जानते हैं तो शायद जिंदगी में बहुत सारा गलती कर लेते हैं सो so, खुद को जानना एक बहुत अच्छा बात है एंड दैट कम्स अंडर इंट्रा पर्सनल इंटेलिजेंस दैट इज अंतरा व्यक्तिक बुद्धि and next comes interpersonal jab wo logo ko jyada samajhti hai logo ka mood kaise hai wo kya feel kar rahe hai is tarah ka person bahut empathetic hote hai isko bolenge hum log antar vyaktik buddhi auron ko samajhti hai jyada so uh, we tell that uh, he or she is a people's person people's person kab hote hai jab wo aas pados ke logo ko jyada acha se samajhti hai aur us tarah ke kaam karti hai then ek tarah ka buddhi hai jo prakriti ya nature ke samparkit cheezon ko nature ke samparkit ghatna ko nature ke nature se liya gaya different entity ko bahut acha se samajhti hai to in is inko hum bolenge prakriti vadi buddhi aur naturalistic intelligence then is existentialistic intelligence or astitvadi buddhi to ye kitna ho gaya 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 matlab hum bole na latest 9 tarah ki buddhi ke bare mein howard gardner's bole hai and these these are the nine different types of intelligences so the first thing we are going to discuss is verbal linguistic intelligence. हम लोग इसको बोले हैं भाषाई बुद्धि. क्या है भाषाई बुद्धि? This type of intelligences actually help us to have well developed verbal skills and sensitivity to sound, meaning and rhythm of words. किस तरह के लोग को लोगों के अंदर ये बुद्धि ज्यादा दिखाई देता है या ज्यादा डेवलप्ड होता है एडिटर्स जर्नलिस्ट्स राइटर्स लॉयर्स पोएट्स ओरेटर्स ये लोग क्या करते हैं ये लोग शब्दों को लेकर खेल सकते हैं शब्दों से ऐसा अच्छा अच्छा रचना रच सकते हैं जिसके बारे में हम लोग सोच भी नहीं सकते इसका मतलब यह नहीं है कि यह अगर मैथ्स थोड़ा कम करे तो इसका इनका बुद्धि कम है ऐसा बात नहीं है 
they actually have verbal linguistic intelligence more uh, i can tell um, uh, in a better way than the other types of intelligences okay so as specified by howard gardner these humans who possess, possess linguistic or uh, language related intelligence they show outstanding skills in reading writing and learning languages they are highly responsive to the meaning of words the order of words human with linguistic intelligence learn best by listening by listening to lectures by writing through discussion through debate some occupations i have already told authors journalists poets yes we the teachers we are also verbal we are also possessing verbal linguistic intelligence and then politicians the orators the public speakers the motivational speakers they all are having this verbal linguistic intelligences again i am telling because they are possessing these verbal linguistic intelligences better than others that doesn't mean that they do not have the other types of intelligences lekin unme is tarah ka intelligence kuch jyada acha si hai okay now how to remember what uh, what are actually um, the ways of learning in this type of uh, Uh, this type of human beings who are having this verbal linguistic intelligences better than others so we can remember this l s r w they understand or they do more by listening speaking reading and writing so this is the verbal linguistic intelligence these students use words effectively these learners have highly developed speaking skills they often think in words they like uh, like description they like reading they like playing word games making up poetry making up stories making up uh, they can be taught by encouraging them to say and see words they read books a lot they uh, their tools can be books computers games multimedia step recorders lectures so this is all about verbal linguistic intelligence the next one which we all actually value more that is logical mathematical intelligence what is this this is defined as ability to think conceptually and abstractly again i am telling कंसेप्ट को लेके ये लोग ज्यादा सोचते हैं एब्स्ट्रैक्ट थिंकिंग इसमें ज्यादा इनमें ज्यादा है दे हैव द कैपेसिटी टू अंडरस्टैंड थिंग्स लॉजिकली एंड दे कैन अंडरस्टैंड अ न्यूमेरिकल पैटर्न वेरी इजीली व्हाट कैन बी द प्रोफेशंस और द कैरियर्स दे कैन गो दे कैन बिकम वेरी गुड मैथ्स टीचर दे कैन बिकम मैथमेटिशियन they can be accountant they can be bankers they can be ca etc so these when we are talking about this logical mathematical intelligence so they can understand or they can think in terms of logic in terms of national uh, rationality and in the light of howard gardner studies humans who have logical mathematical intelligence show high levels of skill regarding reasoning numbers logic and they can investigate benefits of howard gardner's multiple intelligence theory they do exceptionally well on traditional iq test because in standardized traditional iq test we generally judge this type of intelligence they show rational reasoning some professions can include engineers mathematicians i have already told scientists doctors economists physicists so these are some of the careers which are apt for uh, those people or those students who are having a high standard of logical mathematical intelligence 
Next comes the visual spatial intelligence. What is this visual spatial learning style? Actually, it refers to a person's ability to perceive, analyze and understand visual information in the world around them. They can picture concepts with their mind's eye. They are very good well, when uh, you tell them to understand from a chart, from a picture, from a map. So architects, city planners, landscape art, art architects, engineers, graphic designers, photographers, actually they can visualize things. Before the, the particular incident happens or before the particular item is created, they can actually visualize how it will look like, how it is going to benefit us. Okay, so they are having more special visual intelligence. So these humans are having, uh, they are thought to have a heightened awareness of individual physical space or environment. They are able to envision and comprehend large scale spatial arrays and map making. People with this type of intelligence learn best through imagery, charts, graphs, diagrams, photographs, drawings, paintings, video. Some occupations of humans with spatial intelligence can, uh, can always include the architects, the artists, the painters, the photographers, the cartographers who make map, the sailors, the chess players, the video game designers, these are some probable careers for this, uh, for these people who are having more of visual spatial intelligence. So for them, they read and write for enjoyment. They are good at putting puzzles together. They can interpret pictures. They can analyze graphs and charts very well. They enjoy drawing, painting, visual arts, and they recognize patterns easily. Remember when I told that intelligence has different domains and different modalities and they are these different parts, they can complement each other. Remember those people or those students who are having very good logical or reasoning intelligence or numerical intelligence, they can also have spatial intelligence side by side. Maybe both of these intelligences will work together and can make them excellent scientists. Okay. Then bodily kinesthetic. Kinesthetics means something related with speed, something related with movement. And body, we know that's the physical body that we have. So what does it mean? It is a learning style or it is a type of intelligence which is often referred to as learning with the hands or physical learning. They, this type of intelligent people, they do something and they learn. They do something and they analyze. Basically, people with bodily kinesthetic intelligence can learn more easily by doing things, by exploring things, by discovering things, not by reading or writing not by imagery, not by chart, but they will physically, they will use their body and they will explore physically to learn and understand more. Okay. So humans with bodily kinesthetic intelligence possess a high sense of bodily awareness. They work well with their hands and feet and generally they are uh, very good athletic person. Humans with bodily kinesthetic intelligence benefit the most from learning when they are able to construct or create something rather than hearing about a subject or reading about a subject. Some professions can include professional athletes, surgeons I have told because surgeons have to be very much sure about what they are doing with their hands and with their hands they can do miracle they can save a person's life because they are taking out that part which is not, uh, which is creating trouble in our body. Dancers, they can use their body very well. The builders, the soldiers, they can also uh, having 
they are also having this this particular type of intelligence that is bodily kinesthetic intelligence so what is gardner's definition body they are the body smart people this is a special type of capability or expertise in using one's whole body to express ideas or feelings or to learn something or to analyze something to ana to understand something it is the ability to control one's body movements and to handle objects skillfully people with high bodily kinesthetic intelligence have total body control sense of timing clear sense of the goal of a physical action and ability to train responses to become reflexes so they are bodily kinesthetic intelligence again i am telling aisa koi baat nahi hai ki koi bahut acha player hai ya athlete hai wo match nahi kar payega ya wo gunguna nahi payega actually albert einstein was a very good musician he used to play violin even when we talk about uh, satyendranath bose uh, he was an uh, excellent physicist but at the same time he was a great singer okay so intelligence jo hai ek hone hone ka matlab ye nahi hai ki dusra tak type ka intelligence aapke andar nahi reh sakta hai okay so again here also we are talking about bodily kinesthetic uh, intelligence and what are the different occupations or careers that that particular child or that uh, that type of particular person can opt for okay uh these are the possible careers and you can see the famous people michael jordan michael jackson tiger woods uh, they they are different types of athletes gymnasts then you can talk about dancers the surgeons the sculptors they all are having this type of intelligence then comes musical intelligence musical intelligence refers to the skill in the performance composition appreciation of musical pattern theek hai to ye jo uh, is tarah ka je log hai wo sur ko samajhte hai wo sur se kya effect create ho sakta hai wo samajhte hai rhythm samajhte hai so taal lay aur sur ko bahut acche se samajhna aur usko fir express karna ya to bahut acha gana ya to bahut acha dance karna ye sab musical intelligence ke andar aata hai so a, a dancer must have musical intelligence at the same time bodily kinesthetic intelligence so humans who have musical intelligence are sensitive to rhythm to pitch to meter to timbre because they have a strong auditory component humans who have musical intelligence learn best in a lecture way okay agar usko bahut acha se lecture diya jaye to wo shayad बहुत अच्छा से समझ सकती है सो ए आर रहमान और लता मंगेशकर और जस्ट यस्टरडे वी हैव लॉस्ट पंडित रशीद खान उस्ताद रशीद खान दीज 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 टॉलोअर्स इन देर ओन फील्ड दे हैव सुप्रीम म्यूजिकल इंटेलिजेंस म्यूजिक कम्स नेचुरली दे कैन बी दीज टाइप ऑफ पीपल कैन बी unable to learn or communicate but able to perform the ability to perform and comprehend musically seems to work independently from other forms of intelligence also learning through songs learning through musical patterns learning through rhythms learning through instruments and musical expression this all comes under musical intelligence ek bahut common example ho sakte hai jaise mathematical table hum log padhate hai na multiplication table bacche ko padhate hai aap dekhiye aap uh, jo ekdam uh, state ka state government ka koi school se aaya hai us bacche ko ya to hum log ke jo papa chacha hai jo apne hindi mein uh, uh, multiplication table ko sikha वो बिकॉज ऑफ द म्यूजिकल इंटेलिजेंस बिकॉज ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर रिदम विच इज देयर इन साइड इतना अच्छा से वो टेबल सीख लेते हैं कि आज के बच्चा जो टू टू जा फोर बोलते हैं शायद उतना अच्छा से वो सीख नहीं पाते हैं 
तो मैथमेटिकल टेबल में मैथमेटिकल मैथमेटिकल टेबल जब हम लोग लर्न करते हैं शायद हम लोग का म्यूजिकल इंटेलिजेंस उसमें काम आती है ठीक है रिदम म्यूजिक एंड हियरिंग ग्रेटर सेंसिटिविटी टू साउंड रिदम टोन म्यूजिक पीच टिम्बर एंड मे बी इवन एब्सल्यूट पीच they are able to sing they are able to play instruments and they are able to compose music they enjoy singing they enjoy playing instruments they recognize musical patterns and tones easily they remember the songs and melodies and they have a rich understanding of musical structure rhythm and notes next comes interpersonal intelligence very very special type of intelligence and if you have this type of intelligence in uh, dominating than the other types of intelligences or more of this then you will be people smart so interpersonal intelligence is the ability to understand and interact effectively with others you understand what the other person is thinking okay so interpersonal intelligence uh, based on studies done by howard gardner they these uh, people who are having more of interpersonal language they are the humans who have who are uh, also possessing the social intelligence they are highly sensitive to the temperaments moods motivations and feelings of other humans they also can effortlessly empathize with other people humans with interpersonal intelligence learn best through interaction group activity through open discussion through debate some careers can include psychologist sales person politicians educators religious leaders agar aap samajh hi nahi pate ho ki aapke agla wale aadmi kya samajh rahe hai kya soch rahe hai then you cannot have this type of career so it works well with others when you enjoy being around others when you understand others better than the next person when you are a born leader or a natural leader among peers and groups when you are having good problem solving skills when you are empathetic when you are good at at socializing then you are having good interpersonal intelligence okay these are some of the careers which can be opted by a person who is having good interpersonal intelligence leaders organizers communicators sales person uh, a person which takes interview who who conflicts resolution so they they communicate very effectively they empathize very easily they learn best by working with others and good careers include politicians religious leaders managers social workers diplomats next is intrapersonal intelligence what is this they are the individuals who are strong who actually they are very much aware of their own state of emotion they know about their plus points their negative points their strengths their own weaknesses they can analyze their emotional states very well and they can direct themselves bolta hai na self direction self direction se acha direction to kuch ho hi nahi sakta hai okay so they tend to enjoy self reflection is tarah ke jo person hai jo khud ko bahut acche se samajhti hai they enjoy self reflection self analysis थोड़ा सा अलग थलग रहते हैं बहुत अच्छा सोशलाइजिंग शायद पसंद नहीं करते हैं डे ड्रीमिंग बहुत अच्छा से करते हैं दे कैन एक्सप्लोर रिलेशनशिप विथ अदर्स दे कैन एसेस देयर पर्सनल स्ट्रेंथ एंड पर्सनल वीकनेसेस व्हेन आई एनालाइज माय सेल्फ आई फील दैट आई थिंक इन मी इन माय सेल्फ intrapersonal intelligence is more than interpersonal intelligence that's why sometimes i i i can enjoy with myself 
okay better than socializing with others so this intrapersonal intelligence in accordance uh, with gardener is is exhibited by humans who are self intelligent they are highly self aware they are highly sensitive to their own feelings own goals own anxieties they have a a, a sense of intuition wisdom understanding of their own emotions and human with intrapersonal intelligence usually learn the best through independent study you don't discuss things to learn it better but you read it you analyze it of your own and you know it better so there is no particular career specific to this type of people but rather the way of thinking should be a goal for every human in a complex modern society because when you know better about yourself then you can know better about other things also okay this is important because this will give you intuition this will give you imagination creativity personal resilience and self direction you know what is to be done and uh you are not dependent on the guidance or hand holding of others but you actually analyze your strengths your weaknesses and you set your goal and work ac uh, according to that okay so this is uh you can tell a uh, uh something which depicts uh someone who is self conscious okay so these people will have self awareness self regulation self motivation they will also have empathy and social skills and they have the ability to recognize and understanding understand their own moods and the moods of others so this type of intelligence is also very very important this particular slide is showing the difference between intrapersonal and interpersonal intelligence intrapersonal is understanding yourself what you feel and what you want and interpersonal is sensing the other people's feelings and motives and work accordingly okay then comes naturalist uh, naturalistic intelligence naturalistic intelligence refers to a person's interest in the natural world the world of animals plants natural work around them and this type of human beings they are able to identify and classify the patterns which occur in the natural environment they are the individuals who have a sensitivity to the nature and they have the appreciation for nature they can become very good ecologist very good uh, you can tell gardener they enjoy camping they dislike learning unfamiliar topics that have no connection to nature so artificial things they do not like so much but they like things they are familiar familiar to natural things and they can be interested in subjects like ecology botany biology zoology okay gardening uh, hiking exploring these are the better careers for this type of intelligent people they enjoy identifying different plants and flowers they are plant lover they are na nature lover they are animal lover lover they notice patterns and things from nature easily they love collecting natural things natural plants flowers rocks and even stones they appreciate natural beauty they appreciate and respect nature as it is and they care about the environmental issues they are having the naturalistic intelligence what are the subtle difference in this organism maybe you and i cannot tell but those they are having naturalist intelligence they will know what are the differences what are the similarities of different types of organisms they have the ability to relate to the surroundings they can distinguish between large numbers of similar objects 
they learn in the context of outdoors, animals, plants and nature. Okay. Now, the ninth one, which uh, Gardner has told about afterwards, the first eight are complete, but the ninth one, the newest one of the variety of different types of intelligence is this, which is existential intelligence. Existence means, existence, we all know what is existence. So, existential intelligence refers to deep sensitivity and people's ability to handle deep questions, philosophical questions. What is the meaning of existence? It's one of the most complex of the nine types of intelligences listed in Gardner's research. When you start thinking about QI hai dharti pe, hum log ke existence ka meaning kya hai, hum log kya kar sakti hai ye existence se, se, isko aur better banane ke liye kya kar sakti hai, kya nahi karna chahiye. So that is a different type of and very deep and philosophical intelligence which is existential intelligence, not very common or it comes with a lot of wisdom. Knowledge se ye cheez nahi aate hai. जब लोग सोचते लगते हैं अपने एक्जिस्टेंस के बारे में उनके मतलब जिंदगी का क्या गोल है क्या करना चाहिए और हम लोग के ये जो एक्जिस्टेंस है इसका मतलब क्या है और इसके पीछे का प्लान क्या है तो इसके बारे में जब हम लोग का कुछ सोच होता है देन वी आर हैविंग दिस एक्जिस्टेंशियल इंटेलिजेंस व्हिच इज अ वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स टाइप ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस सो दिस इज the level and education researcher Howard Gardner told who gave to students who think philosophically. It involves an individual's ability to use collective values and intuition to understand others and the world around them. Okay, so interest, interest in questions in this life, uh, the question about death, what is there beyond life, what is beyond our galaxy, what is beyond our planet, what is the meaning of the existence, what is the big plan around us, what is working behind us. All these questions come when you are having existential intelligence. This is, there is a desire to be an outsider while at the same time showing a strong interest in society and those incorporated. These wandering people they are seeing the big picture of the existence. They are asking philosophical, uh, philosophical questions about the world and about themselves. So children with this intelligence may show curiosity about what the earth was like years ago. Koi bachya agar puchte hai ki aaj se sao saal pehle dhati kaisa tha? Aaj se paasso saal pehle kaisa tha? Aaj se hajar saal pehle kya tha? Baad mein kya hoga? If there is life on another planet where living things can go after they die, marne ke baad kya hota hai? Whether there are other dimensions of life, yeah, whether there is ghost, whether there is spirit, if there is a life beyond this life, who are the famous philosophers and their thoughts all came from this type of intelligence. When children with this type of questions are there, they are having this spatial complex type of intelligence. Okay. So this is about existential intelligence. These are the different types of intelligences I have started. Uh, I have tried to make a chart of them. What are the actual, uh, what depicts that particular type of intelligence and what can be the probable carriers of that particular type of intelligence. So all these eight, nine types of intelligences are depicted in these two tables and you can know about your children in a better way, in a broader way, when you can see that all the children who are around us, they are not dumb, they are smart in their own unique way. Let us see these also. People smart, self smart, nature smart, music smart. What can be the carriers? What are the examples? Okay. 
actually this uh, this particular topic this requires in depth uh, reading and analyzing and what we uh, try to do is in a nutshell talking about different types of intelligences but they are not uh, sufficient so the last thing is everything everyone is unique in their own special way everyone is beautiful no one else has a say everyone is beautiful no one deserves to disagree all of us you and me everyone is beautiful every shape size and color everyone is beautiful don't listen to what the others have to say everyone is beautiful appreciate value nurture and please understand that intelligence is not a single type it is not only inherited we as teachers have to nurture different types of intelligences different types of children with different potentiality with different uniqueness and we can make them the champions in their own field thank you if there is any question uh, thank you very much i unmuted all you can uh, unmute yourself so if you have got any questions participants you can ask ma'am is ready wonderful session rema ma'am Thank there is no words to express it, so it rather like an exemplary session. So you did it. Let's have that. How many questions the problems are or questions are in the minds of the, the uh, teachers, or they can raise the question. Before that, those who do not have any questions or any doubt, you can the link already posted. You can go through the attendance link and the quiz link also and can attend. I'm not getting any question that means you don't. Uh, no, we are not getting any question. <laughs> Only thank you, madam. Thank you. Okay. And really, it was really a very nice session, ma'am. It's a wonderful session. And uh, full energy was new. That is the most thing after taking after the classes and all you yes, were. Began. Yes, full energy was there and it is very just like feel that in the morning you are taking the classes it's really <laughs> fantastic so, Thank you. the motivation is from your side only because when we know that we have to present that we also go through it we actually in uh, the past three four days i have seen a number of videos i have gone through a number of uh, pdfs uh, to have a better understanding of the topics so when we do that actually we are benefited so I am so thankful that I have got this opportunity. Absolutely correct, ma'am. This is the same thing is that the there is half of the on behalf of the Arivata Sahodeva School Complex, I extend my heartfelt thanks to you on behalf of you, all the participants and all you can say that the com com uh, committee also, all the members of the Arivata Sahodeva. Also, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you ma'am. Link will oh, be a, a, active till 6 p.m. So, participants kindly. Kindly go through the attendance link and after that you can leave the meeting. If you don't have any doubt, if you have got any doubt, if you don't want to ask, you can write it in the chat box also. Ma'am can see it and she will take the questions. Yes, yes, of course. If you have a question, you will ask me to ask you to ask me to ask you to ask me to ask you to ask me और आपको जिसको जिसने लिंक अटेंडेंस लिंक बरा है और क्विज लिंक एल किया कर दिया है वो अपने आप को छोड़ सकता है यू लीव द मीटिंग डोंट इन स्टे इन द रूम Yes, the mama, it seems that the, there is okay. no questions. So okay, thank you very much once again. Yes, okay. you can leave. Bye bye. Bye bye, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, bye -bye. Thank you. Huh.